Hello everyone, this is Alex and welcome to another ESO guide video. In this video we will be talking uh, about uh, master rates in Elder Scrolls Online, what they are, how to get them more often, what influences the drop rate and um, what are they all about in the first place uh, for all the new players out there. So master rates are uh, quests, quests that you can do, crafting quests and they have a very specific reward uh, the currency is called Vrit vouchers and as you can see we have alliance points gold telver stones and Vrit vouchers and these are very valuable even nowadays so master crafters are usually the ones that get them and in order to get master writs uh, you have to do the crafting daily quests and then when you open the reward boxes you will be able to uh, occasionally get them now the each, uh, each Master Writ uh, has a certain amount of uh, Writ vouchers as a reward and uh, as far as I know the amount is totally random so you can never uh, influence uh, the amount that you get from the quest as a reward but you can influence the drop rate and make sure that you're getting them more often. Once you have Writ vouchers you have these NPCs here None of us is in every major city that you can, you can use uh, the vouchers to buy certain stuff and then either learn it yourself or sell it to other players. It's a very valuable currency and it pays off uh, to get as many as possible if you're doing crafting dailies as often as I am. Now, when it comes to the drop rate, actually, sorry, let's go through the quests uh, for the new players. Um, quests look like this pretty much. I just consumed one of them. This has about 40 something uh, vouchers as a reward and usually when I do them I do them when they require epic quality or less and I like these ones that give about 40 to 50 vouchers at epic quality if I can do them if I have the trait if I can um, if I know the styles then I'll do them myself otherwise I might go ahead and uh, sell them but some of them I do myself some of them I sell as you can see I have a bunch of them here that are sold some have more vouchers some have less the highest one that I had so far personally, I believe, was about 270 vouchers, something like that. And it just so happened that I could do it myself, so that was very good. Now, in order to get Master Rits uh, more often, there's a couple of things that uh, go into the equation. Uh, obviously, in order to increase your chance uh, dramatically, you need to do crafting dailies on as many characters as you can. I do them on 8 characters. So I have a fairly decent um, drop rate, um, either my main character or any of the alternate characters gets them and uh, just put them in the bank and either do them or sell them, it's all good. So that's the first thing, that the more characters you have, the higher your drop rate will be logically because it's RNG. But in order to increase uh, the chance for the drop rate, the first thing that you want to take a look uh, is the achievements and the crafting section you have general achievements motifs stuff like that alchemy uh, blacksmithing all that stuff they're very standardized you can um, easily get most of them especially for enchanting provisioning all that stuff and uh, let's take a look at each profession in general in my personal experience uh, most of the master reads that i get are either alchemy or enchanting and in order to increase the drop rate on those you need all the achievements of course for the enchanting you need to translate all the rune stones, potency, essence, aspect, all of that stuff. Uh, the rewards vary, usually it's like two to five vouchers per, uh, per quest, nothing much. Sometimes it might be like 10 to 15 vouchers if, uh, if you have those uh, prismatic uh, quests, the essence rune Hakeja, the one that uh, requires uh, more uh, more knowledge and costs more to get it so those quests can give you more vouchers and it's fairly often i fairly often get uh, enchanting they seem to drop uh, more than other ones and same thing for alchemy you need to uh, get these achievements and translate uh, or discover traits for all the the plants and reagents that's not very hard to do at all you can do this uh, in like half an hour or less same thing for enchanting just buy all different uh, runes go to a table and start mixing and matching them. For alchemy, if you have an add-on, uh, if, if you're on consoles and you don't have add-ons, it can still easily be done, so no problems. Alchemy, enchanting, very often drop rate. The, writs, uh, the quests uh, drop very often from the boxes. Now, 
provisioning, I only saw a couple of uh, master rates from for provisioning, and I think I did them all myself. So I don't see them often at all. They don't seem to be drop uh, to drop uh, as often as other ones. In fact, I would say that provisioning is the ones that, for me personally, I've seen uh, the least amount of master rates. I've seen everything else uh, drop more often than provisioning. But I guess uh, if you know all the uh, all the recipes, the achievements, you can uh, increase your chance of getting those as well. However, as I said in my experience, very, very low drop rate. Now, woodworking, clothing and blacksmithing is pretty much the same thing, just different names. Uh, you want to get the achievements, obviously, for uh, all of these uh, professions, all of the achievements. As you can see, I don't really have all of them, but I will have them in time. But most of them I do have. And apart from that, the general ones as well, you also want to know as many motifs as possible. Uh, with the exception of these first basic ones, they do not count. And when you start learning motifs, um, you need to learn the whole motif, all the chapters, in order for that motif uh, to count towards your, um, your uh, status as a master crafter or however you want to call it. So that's the first thing, you gotta learn as many motifs as, as you can see I have most of the motifs, I don't have the new Morrowind ones and I'm missing some um, Crown Store motifs and I'm missing two of the old ones which I do plan to get soon. So as you can see I'm just missing a Morrowind and a couple of Crown Store motifs and that's it, but I don't really care about those so I'm not gonna bother with them. The second big thing, apart from achievements and motifs, is the, the traits. All the traits that you know, that you've researched. As you can see, I have uh, woodworking here. I know all the traits for the shield, for uh, wooden weapons, all of them. I also know all the traits for uh, clothing. And I'm slowly getting there for uh, blacksmithing weapons. And I need to start researching uh, blacksmithing uh, heavy armor, armor traits. Which will take a while, but since I'm buying those scrolls that reduce uh, research time, it will be uh, much less than normally. So those are the factors that influence uh, woodworking, clothing and uh, blacksmithing, the traits, the motifs and of course the achievements. So that's pretty much it for the master rates. Um, keep in mind, as I said, uh, it's totally RNG. Uh, some days you might get a couple of them, some days uh, you might not get, get any of them. There's no rules, uh, it's totally RNG, but if you want to uh, increase your chance, that's pretty much it. Provisioning, learn the recipes, do the achievements, woodworking, clothing and blacksmithing, achievements, weapon traits, armor traits, as well as motifs. Alchemy, enchanting, do all the achievements, translate all the runes, translate all, all the um, uh, reagents and uh, traits, all that stuff. And that's it pretty much, you will be getting them every now and then. But as I said, keep in mind uh, the number of vouchers that you get in the quest is totally random. You can only increase your chance of getting the quests. But some someone who doesn't have anything researched might get a quest for like uh, 200 vouchers. And you on the other hand who are almost a master crafter or a complete master crafter might not get even 20. So it's RNG, but it does pay off in the long run because... Um, in my personal experience, I probably made well over 2,000 vouchers by now. I sold a bunch of stuff, uh, I bought a bunch of stuff for myself. And um, even nowadays, I don't know about other platforms, but on PC, EU, every voucher counts as about 1,000 gold. So if you have like a 1,000 vouchers, that's easily uh, a million gold. So it does pay off to have them uh, every now and then. So that's it for the quick uh, master Ritz uh, video. If you got any questions, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. I will uh, make a page for this video on the website and link it as well. It might take me a couple of hours, but it will be there. And uh, as always, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you around, guys.